Okay, so we need um, a way to extract the part that we're interested in from this long HTML response text. Okay, what I'm going to use here might not actually be the best way to do it, but it works. If you think you know a better way and a cleaner way to do this, um, please let me know in the comments below. And this is true for anything that we're doing here. If you know a better way, please comment below and let me know. Okay. So what I'm going to do is instead of um, returning the details um, string that we have built here, um, I'm going to delimit um, this um, output. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to define a string. Let's define it outside here. So const, I'm going to call it um, response delimiter. And I'm going to give it a value of any string that we want, but I'm just going to put down response um, delimiter. Okay. Uh, let's copy that. And then what we'll do is we will append it or we will just um, um, concatenate it with the string before the details and after details. Okay. Um, let's publish that. Okay. New version. And then on our client side, what we'll do is um, so instead of just getting the response, we will um, split the response using the split function. And then we'll split the response with the delimiter that we just defined on the other side not this one um, let me just go back and copy the actual string that we have defined here so copy that and paste that here just to make sure that I'm not making any typos here it's very important to do it this way right so we've got our start uh, Buckingham Palace uh, to Trafalgar Square. Actually, let me let me just add London there, just in case. Uh, plus space and London. I don't know if there's another place in the world called Buckingham Palace or Trafalgar Square. So plus it's twenty plus London. Okay, so let's see what we get here. If we run this, I've got a type mismatch. Let's see what, oh yeah, yeah. So basically what we have, sorry about this. So um, what we have is the split function is going to give us back an array. And the array in this case will have three um, elements. The first element is going to be all the junk before the first response delimiter. The second element is going to be the actual string that we're interested in. The third element will be any junk after that. Okay? And because this is a zero based array, the second element that we're interested in will have an index of one. Okay? So hopefully this will work. Let me just delete that. Okay, save and run. There we go. We've got this, we've got we've got it here. So we've got um, 0 0.7 miles, and it will take about four minutes. Let's just get another one that is going to be a little bit further away. So let's say we're going from Tower Bridge. Okay. Um, in London all the way down to um, Trafalgar Square 
let's see what that gives us um, yeah so that will be 2.9 and 14 minutes so let me just delete that and run it again okay so if I run that no let's put it here and then run it yep yeah, yeah there we go so we've got 2.9 and 14 minutes 2.9 miles and 14 minutes let's see if that is the case on Google Maps so if we go Google Maps and what we had was um, Tower Bridge in London to it's actually from Tower Bridge to Trafalgar Square in London okay let's see what that gives us perfect so we have 30 minutes and 2.8 miles okay so 2.8 miles and 13 minutes um, so here we have 2.9 and 14 minutes close enough I think it's just a way of um, I think probably the time is flawed on Google so if it even if it's like 13.8 it will give you 13 so it will flaw the 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 actual value rather than round it to the nearest um, uh, minute I'm just guessing um, I don't know if that is the case but it seems like that to me okay so I'm gonna finish this video here next time um, we will see how we can build the destination and the start from um, this table here um, okay so if you found this video useful please don't forget to hit the like button and also please subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video